Okay, in today's video, I'm going to make one about RetroPie and how you could change disks on uh, RetroPie. So, oftentimes in games for the PlayStation, Sega Dreamcast, Sega Saturn, and others, uh, you may have games that, would, that have more than one disk. So, uh, let's say a game like Metal Gear, it has two disks, but you have to switch, you have to swap the disks in order to play, right? So, that's the question that I'll be answering today. So, let me go back to PlayStation here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the game with disk 2. Like so, and obviously I can't play the game with this two. I have to play the. I have to start the game with this one. So I'll show you what I mean. I want to start a new game. And it's asking me to insert this one, right? So I press the special hot button and triangle. Go here. Go all the way down to disk control. So I want to eject the current disk. Eject. And I want to insert a new disk. Go back. Load disk. So I go to patient directory, and this is in the PlayStation folder, so I go to Metal Gear Disk 1, and I think it's .q file, you have to select the right one, and I'm going to press start, now it's going to be loading the next disk, which is disk 1, now it should be running, as you can see it's running. So that's all you have to do to switch um, discs. So you can't obviously do it because there's, I mean, physically because there's no there's no tray, right? But you can do it this way. Whoops. And that's all you have to do to switch discs. You can do that for any system, really. Um, if you have the Dreamcast emulator, you may have some games like. Shenmue or something that has like maybe five or six discs so you you would have to switch discs um, often right so that's how you switch this so anyways thanks for watching ways 1000 ks 1975 signing out